A very good evening uh, to all the brothers and sisters in Christ. Uh, we thank our Heavenly Father, the Lord and Savior Jesus Christ for giving this wonderful opportunity to discuss His wonderful words of life. Uh, so today, as you all know, we're going to study about Armageddon. There's going to be no PPT because usually uh, I don't uh, uh, use PPTs uh, for these subjects. I haven't prepared also uh, because basic classes uh, in India, when I take, uh, I usually don't cover these subjects. But anyway, as the, as the brother uh, requested, uh, so we will uh, go through the subject because here we take it in a different angle. So today we are going to study about uh, Armageddon. So what is Armageddon? You see, Nowadays, uh, as soon as you wake uh, early in the morning, immediately if you see any newspaper or else if you are on any TV, each and every news will be flashing, showing, breaking news, breaking news, breaking news. You see, so earlier, if you see around some 20 years uh, before, this was not the scenario. You see, the TV news used to come. That was uh, used to be a general news. But... Uh, Whenever some something serious only happened, then only you see, you see, uh, like a terrorist attack, a bomb blast, uh, you see, a fall in share market. Then only the breaking news used to come. But today, what has happened? Uh, if you see the brethren, every moment in, uh, you see, each and every thing in the news is called as breaking news. Uh, so this is a clear sign that we are living in a very very dangerous time. So, what we see in the world is that uh, many soldiers are revolting against the senior officers. Uh, you see, many are brutally being murdered because of selfishness. Uh, lot of uh, terrorist uh, attack. Uh, even the churches, uh, the nuns, the bishops are not spared. You see, they are also being attacked. You see, and the people today are so blind that uh, instead of worshipping uh, God, they are worshipping human beings. Uh, the big, big celebrities uh, worshipping them as hero. Much more, uh, you see, than God. And, uh, you see, uh, we have seen the great recession, you see, in the past few years. Uh, because of which uh, there was a great fall in the share market. Uh, many of the companies have shut down and bankrupted. We can see clearly that, uh, you see, many of the big, big companies that were earlier there, like General Motors, uh, Chevrolet, uh, all these things uh, doesn't exist today at all. And many of the banks, uh, you see, earlier it was there, it is uh, shut down. And many of the tire companies like Dunlop and is no more there at all. You see, so uh, what are we going to? What is this world leading to? You see? There's a skyrocket uh, in the price of gold or diamond. You see, many of the factories are shut down. You see, uh, there's a lot of unemployment uh, for the person who won, uh, was studied in a high uh, ranking uh, uh, scale also. They're not getting sufficient of a uh, good job. Even if they get job, there's not sufficient of salaries which they, make, which they can maintain the family. It has become a, such a scene that each and every person in the family had to work. You see, in China, almost 60, 67,000 companies have closed on the Many, many of the big aircraft companies also have shut down and big, big uh, business tycoons have lost a lot of money and become bankrupt. Real estate has gone down. Even It has not even spared the Queen Elizabeth in Amer you see, London. She is not able to repaint her Buckingham Palace, dear brethren. So many of the mines are shut down. Many of the peoples are laid out, uh, jobless situations. So what is this world leading to? Dear brethren, we, this is a clear sign that we are reaching for the great battle of Armageddon. So let us see one verse, Jeremiah 25th chapter 31 to 33. So today I won't be calling anybody's name. So whoever has got the Bible, they can definitely read. Jeremiah 25th chapter verse 31 to 33. Anybody can read. Anybody can read. 
Noise means trouble. You see, whenever there is a huge noise, a revolt, a commotion, you see, dear brethren, it will come from the end of the world. It seems uh, that means from corner of the world to other corner of the world, from one end of the world to other end of the world. All nations, uh, you see, all over the world, whichever nation you take, uh, you see, there shall come this noise of trouble. It seems why. Because it says the Lord at a controversy with the nations. He is pleading with all flesh. And he shall give the wicked, big, big nations, many companies. God shall give them to sword. Sword means what? Brother? Destruction. You see, then continue with the next. What does the Bible say? Continue. Hmm. Those said the Lord of hosts, behold, Evil shall go for, forth from nation to nations, and a great uh, will wind shall be a raise up from the coast of the earth, and the uh, and the slain of the Lord shall be at that day from one end of the earth even uh, onto the other other in other end. End of the earth, they shall not be a lamented, neither gather nor bore it. They shall be a dung upon on the ground. Mm -hmm. You see, what is it? Behold, evil shall go forth from nation to nation. Dear brethren, underline each and every nation, whichever nation you see. They shall be evil, it seems, from one nation to other nation. Just think over dear brethren, from a small nation like India, Sri Lanka, from here to even the greatest of the nation, America, Russia. What is there today? Trouble, trouble, trouble. Evil, evil, evil. A great whirlwind. You see, dear brethren, from the ends of the earth, you see, and what is the result of it? They shall not be lamented, nor gathered, nor buried. They shall be tongue upon the earth. That means uh, nobody will be spared in this uh, day of wrath. This uh, is the signs of Armageddon. This is a sign that uh, all the world are gathering for this great battle called as Armageddon. So this is not actual Armageddon, but this is the preparation for Armageddon. Like, uh, like how, you see, when I was in Nepal, we all went to a hill station. You see, see, as we went on to the hill, uh, as we are climbing, what is happening? The temperature is getting chill, chill, chill. You see, so once you reach on the top of the hill, the temperature is totally different than on the ground level. That is what uh, is Armageddon. Armageddon is still on the peak. Uh, but as we keep on approaching that Armageddon, the temperature cools down. Similarly, dear brethren, now the world is going on from the down level to the reaching the Armageddon. But as it keeps on going, what is there? The trouble is increasing, increasing. The temperature keeps on changing, dear brethren, increasing the same way. This is called as Armageddon. So let us read about Armageddon in Revelation 16, chapter 16th verse. Kindly read anybody. Revelation 16, 16. Marathon Brother, very good. Welcome. Thank you. You can also participate. You can also read the Bible, Brother. And the, he gathered them together into a place called in the Hebrew tongue Armageddon. Very good. So here it says the 
gather them together into a place uh, called in Hebrew tongue as Armageddon. You see, so Hebrew, in Hebrew it is called as Armageddon. Now what is this Armageddon? Actually, Armageddon is uh, a place uh, in the hills of Medigo. That was a place in Israel where great battles of Israel were fought. You see, we have read about so many wars in Israel, how Gideon fought uh, against the Midianites and he defeated them, how David uh, fought uh, over the Philistines. Uh, Nahab and Jezebel were met their end at this place only. Therefore, Armageddon, therefore this uh, hill of Medigo, that became a significance uh, between the battle between good and evil. You just study about all these wars of Israel. The majority of the wars has happened in this place only. And God calls this place, as Armageddon means, this is a place where the future war is going to happen between, you see, uh, evil and good. This is not a literal place, that, but in Israel it was a literal place, but that was got as a larger significance that where in the future, in the entire world, there is going to be a great war between good and evil. Therefore, you see, uh, in the same, same Revelation chapter, I read verse 14, brother. Read uh, verse 14, you read uh, verse uh, 16. Revelation 16 chapter verse 14, kindly read, brother. Huh? For they are the spirit of devils, working miracles, which go forth unto the kings of the earth and of the whole world to gather them to the battle of the death, battle of that great day of God Almighty. See, the great battle of that great day of God Almighty. So Armageddon is actually a battle of that great day of God Almighty. It is a war between good and evil. It is a war between, you see, labor and capital, between true and the false, between God and mammon, the priest and the people. You see, that is the great battle of God Almighty. Here it says, uh, the evil spirits go forth unto the kings of the earth and, and gather everybody to this place, it seems. Now, who is this kings of the earth? Dear brethren, earlier they were kings, but nowadays there is no kings at all. Even in King Neva, King, uh, even in Nepal, there was a king. But uh, here also, the kingship went off and uh, you said there is democracy. See, kings means what? There is not, not uh, little kings. There are different, different types of kings. Like, for example, if you come to a music field, who is the king of pop, if you see? We usually call Michael Jackson as the king of pop. So, when you come to a computer field, who is the king of computers? It's billiards. When you come to the steel field, who is the king of steel? Giant. You see, it is Erslar Mittal. Similarly, if you come to a film field, you see, who is the king of uh, films? If you see, it's uh, Amitabh Bachchan or Shah Rukh Khan. So that's the example. So king means what? All big, 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 big giants. All big personalities, you see, let it be in whichever field, dear brethren, let it be in all the fields, it is them that God is gathering for this place. Okay, now how is God gathering? You see, what does that verse say? You see, uh, now just now we read verse 14. Now read verse 13, brother. How does God gather? Verse 13, brother, same revelation, 16, verse 13. And I saw three unclean spirit like frogs come out of the mouth of the dragon and out of the mouth, mouth of the beast and out of the mouth of the false prophet. Very good. So here it says three unclean spirits like frog which came out of dragon, the beast and the false prophet. It is this unclean spirits that gather everybody, you see, for this great battle. Now, what is this three unclean spirits? We have studied uh, in the spirit class. You see, spirit means what? Uh, you see, uh, spirit is not a, a person or a personality. 
it is that is the invisible power you see and here three unclean spirits coming out from the mouth of the you see uh, dragon means mouth means jesus once said no uh, in john 663 the spirit that quickens the flesh for profit nothing the words which i speak they are spirit unto you so that's the words which jesus spoke that was the spirit that was the power you see that motivated his disciples to walk in that path so similarly three unclean spirits may born three unclean words or doctrines or speeches or talks you see huh? or things which come out from a these three agencies which actually motivate the people to gather for this armageddon therefore you see it says uh, these are the spirits which work uh, you see uh, miracles uh, spirits of the devil in verse 14 we read now you see that means these are not the true uh, leading spirits uh, these are deception spirits uh, these are the words or the, these are the news, these are the proclamation, these are the policies, these are the doctrines which divert mankind away from God. And you see, uh, it says it is compared to something like frog. Now why it is compared to frog? You see, dear brethren, frog actually usually have three qualities. Okay, First thing, the frog when somebody comes to attack a frog, you see, the frog usually bulges out. It becomes so big, almost more than double than its size. You see, just creating an impression that it is a very great animal. But actually, it is not so. Okay? This is the first quality of a frog. The second quality of the frog, it shows as if it is something great, wise or something. The third quality, it keeps on continuously, continuously croaking, cr -cr 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 continuously keeps on telling. So, you see, what are these things which came out of these three? The dragon, you see, the beast from the mouth. You see, we all know, we have studied in Daniel, you see, seventh chapter, the four beast. You see, the beast usually means what? The beast usually means the government, the civil government, the dragon and the false prophet. That represents the religious aspect, religious power. So, from the religious power and from the civil power, you see, the policies or the words that come out will be very promising. Will be very great, great things, you see. But actually, these are very great deception. Like for example, you see, yeah, I'll give an example of what we, uh, what actually happens in India. You might be knowing that one. See, the current government, you see, promised uh, huge great things and all, like building uh, uh, so many temples and uh, all these things and all. Why? Just to attract for vote, uh, to gain for vote. Uh, and thus, uh, you see, they have been retained uh, in the current position. See, those policies, those words, you see, are very, very false, you see, very deceptive. So, this gathered the people for what? For that commotion, for the revolt, for that anger, you see, this is the example. Similarly, like uh, if you want any religious policies, like for example, see, among the Roman Catholic, you see, the bishops are not... Uh, permitted to marry. This is the rule. You see, that is the doctrine, that is the policy that has come out from their mouth. You see, from the mouth of the, you see, the great beast, the great uh, dragon, you see. So, nobody is allowed to marry. But uh, because of this policy, what has happened? What is the effect upon the society? If you see, many of the bishops or the fathers, you see, they have elected relationship with the nuns, and in India, you know what has happened? You see, so many bishops have been murdered and so many nuns have been conceived and they are aborted. You see, and there are so many cases and so many people are behind the bars. Now, why are all these things? It is because of the religious policy. It is because of the, you see, civil policy, the government policies, dear brethren. 
like for example take uh, mujahideen hamas or taliban you see they all feel they all think that they are fighting a holy war jihad why because again of the religious policies they believe that if they die for allah if they you see sacrifice their life for allah if they fight for allah if they kill for the sake of allah allah will be pleased so this is you see the motivation given that is gathering the people for this commotion therefore dear brethren you see uh, because of this policies you know what has happened uh, because of the government policies or the world's policies uh, there is so much of poverty in uh, somalia uh, there is no government in somalia uh, the only warlords are ruling the only growing drugs uh, and they been uh, uh, sending the drugs all over the world you see and uh, because of so many policies what has happened uh, you see so many big big companies uh, they had to shut down their business uh, and uh, the big big companies are not able to make profit uh, hence uh, they are approaching the customers directly you might be you might have seen uh, in many places uh, first uh, there was actually a different uh, type of market there is to be a manufacturer who is to send the goods to the wholesaler and from the wholesaler it is to come to the dealer and from the dealer it is to come to the retailer and then to the consumer but today there is a that uh, that center uh, mediator that like, uh, wholesaler uh, dealer uh, you see a uh, retailer is totally gone the companies are approaching directly to the customer why because they have ran the margin has become less hence you can see great get big big mammoth stores have been opened big big malls where in a single place everything is been sold everything you can get you see so what is happening is that the business is being accumulated or gathered in the hands of the few so what is happening to the small small businesses and small small people they are losing their day to day revenue and this is generating frustration discontent anger envy among the poor so you can see in the world you see earlier there were three you see categories in the you see society first class second class third class the first class with the upper class very rich people the middle class with the second class where they used to have a normal life a decent life and the third class with a very poor class uh who are very poor and could not afford anything they were living in a lower strata of the society but today you can see very clearly that the middle class is totally wading off there is no more that you can find a clear differentiation between that middle class the middle class is totally going slowly there is a huge gap you see huh between the rich and the poor so only in the future you can see the rich and the poor this is breeding discontent anger among the society let me give you an example you see what has this got effect upon the society uh like for example uh, i hope in nepal also that's the situation earlier some uh, 15 years before if you see Uh, whenever a poster has to be put on a large scale they used to paint it by hand remember they used to uh, have hand paintings uh, like uh, cutouts uh, huge cutouts for a picture or for a match or for any uh, you see uh, what do you say uh, fun fair or any advertisement that has to be put it has to be it has to be it was painted by hand <laughs> and who, who is to paint it some 10 or 15 people used to paint it they used to take around 2 uh, 3 uh, weeks time so in that 2 uh, 3 weeks uh, that 15 people's family were maintained the paint company got the revenue you see even the uh, even the manufacturer of the paint box the lid the tin were uh, benefited even the brushes were uh, companies were benefited so even the cloth company who used to supply the cloth for the painting used to benefit even the wood uh, you see carpenter who used to make frames for the company they benefited everything everybody benefited so they all had a decent life but dear brethren you might have observed recently this concept of painting by hand is gone 
computers have come in, Photoshop has come in, flex printing has come in. You see, earlier 10 to 15 people, what they used to do for 15 days, a simple machine will do the same job in 10-15 minutes. Imagine, dear brethren, what a huge, you see, difference, what huge effect it has brought. The 10-15 men, they lost their jobs. You see, just because of greed of doing things in a very less value, you see, many people profited. But think about the 15 men who lost their jobs. What about the family? What are the dependents? What about the paint company? What about the tin manufacturer? What about the carpenter? You see, all these things got affected, dear brother. This is an example what I'm giving you. This happens in a large scale in all over field, dear brother. So day by day, day by day, what has happened? Unemployment is being gathered. Unemployment is being gathered. 95% you see in the people, they don't do hand labor. 95% work is done by machines. You see, you go for garment field, shoe field, any factory, there's a competition. And moreover, today what has happened? Females also have joined for this competition. There is no much encouragement or opportunity for men. They have to work for lower wages. Dear brethren, you see, and increase in what? You see, day to day, Commodities, fruits, vegetables, basic necessities have skyrocketed. Many people, you see, they are not able to survive even their day-to-day -day life. Because of that huge pressure, tension, you know, they end their life. They commit suicide. They try to maintain their family. Somehow, you see, you see, some people cheat somebody, do robbery, you know, something they'll do. Dear brethren, all this because of poverty and unemployment. But those people who are not able to do all these things, then they commit suicide. This is where the Armageddon is leading to. Let us read James 5th chapter verses 1 to 5. Uh, Mausam, you are there. Mausam, can you read? You are there? Uh, brother, I am on the way, but I uh, don't have Bible at my hand. I'm okay, listening. no problem. No problem. No problem. Anybody else you can read? Munna sister. Or Brother Gopal. Yes, brother. Who is first? James fifth chapter, verses one to five, sister. Go to now, a rich man, weep and howl for your uh, miseries that shall come upon you mm. your mm. your riches are corrupted and mm. your garments are uh, molten your mm. gold and silver is canker and uh, rust of them shall be a witness against you mm. and shall eat your flesh as it were fire mm. it have heaped treasure together for the last day Mm. Behold, the hire of the laborers who have ripped down your field, which is of your kept, kept back by fraud, carry it, uh, and the cries of them which have ripped are entered into the ear of the Lord of Sabbath. Ye have lived in pressure on the earth and been winter. He have nourished your heart as in a day of clatter. Ah, you see, you have heaped treasures together for the last day. So many people tell no, oh, at least in my uh, last days of my life, I should live peacefully. So I have made good wealth, good property. You see, taken a lot of gold. You see, what does the Bible say? You have heaped treasures together for the last day. Behold the hire of the laborers. Who have ripped down your field, which you are kept down by fraud, cryeth. And this cry has reached the, the ears of God, it seems to be. Then, you see, 
many countries uh, have developed uh, in uh, all ways you see whichever angle you think uh, whichever angle you take uh, the whole uh, all the nations of this world have developed you see except in the field of love justice peace and righteousness isn't it you see huh? everybody they have developed in uh, it field uh, you see uh, in uh, finance field in business field you see and uh, information technology intelligence security media everything but uh, what about god nobody bothers to study or think about god you see god children are persecuted while drugs rum western culture slave trade gay marriages gay you see churches you see these are increased even in military you know what is supplied liquor drink is supplied free of cost why so to they may work for the military deep then this is actually totally against what the bible says you see even now also authorities don't even bother to give at least give simple heed to the instructions of the bible instead of giving importance to love you see and uh, mercy upon the poor and uh, humanity they are spending lot and lot uh, selfishly upon their own self things like for example you know uh, our uh, lok sabha election it cost more than <laughs> what i actually cost uh, it happens for connecting election in america you see 3000 more than more than 9000 crores imagine 9000 crores of rupees has been spent on canvassing it seems this is official report think about the unofficial report dear brethren there are so many people who can't even afford 50 rupees per day for the basic necessities basic food you see that is the condition of this world therefore dear brethren this world is leading to armageddon when people say there's peace huh? what happens is himself then sudden destruction comes upon them that is the day we are living read first thessalonians 5:3 first thessalonians 5:3 anybody can read first thessalonians 5:3 for when they shall say peace and safety then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travel upon a woman with child and they shall not escape aha uh -huh. you see when they say peace security that time only what will come is himsa huh? trouble that is the condition in the world you see the politicians will come and say don't worry you will get peace everything will be sorted out immediately what will happen some trouble will come you see even that is what the bible says this is our megadan therefore you see in the country in, in the world the all the nations are investing more upon you know what huh? arms you see military force today we have a beautiful example of ukraine russia korea israel Hamas, Iraq, Iran. Just think, dear brother, all these nations they don't even have proper food to eat. But today they are investing more and more upon what? Upon, you see, weapons. You see, that is what the Bible says. Read Joel, third chapter, ten and eleven. Joel, third chapter, verse ten and eleven. beat your plow shears into swords and your pruning hooks into spears let the weary say a weak say i am strong assemble yourselves and come all ye heathen and gather yourselves together round about thither cause thy mighty ones mm. to come down o mm. lord mm. see what does the bible say assemble yourselves Uh, beat your plowshares into swords. That means what plowshare means what? Uh, that which is used for uh, agriculture. Beat it into swords means what? Uh, divert that investment. Uh, instead of investing in agriculture, invest in arms, ammunitions. 
that is the condition today the brain you see and you are pruning your uh, two spears let the weak say i'm strong weak amas is a powerful nation it is not even a nation the brethren is very weak but they say they are strong mm -hmm. you see that is what is happening is is afghanistan iraq you just go and see there they don't even have proper food and proper shelter also but they got funds for what bombs missiles is so easy so cheap each and every missile will cost so lakhs and lakhs of rupees dear brethren but yet they are ready to invest in those things than to invest upon their people you see a huh? lot of uh, united nations funds uh, donations have been sent to these poor countries but in spite of all these things <laughs> what are they doing uh? they are investing in uh, arms ukraine just imagine more than almost one and a half years uh, ukraine is totally peace peace huh? at least you should surrender and cooperate no dear brethren today what is happened because of one person's uh, ego you know the entire ukrainian civilization is spoiled they don't have job don't have money don't have funds how much of tension they bring imagine how much of disease sickness depression will come they bring this is leading the people to frustration this is a signs of armageddon and the government you know what they are doing they are busy developing uh, satellites uh, to go to where huh? to go to moon to go to mars while there is first of all no satisfaction and no basic amenities here on earth dear brethren think about the rich how the rich are living you see i'll give you example of what we have in india you might be knowing that one you might be seeing in the news you see ha huh? okay shambani you know you know how much he has spent for his marriage son's marriage more than thousands of crores dear brethren is it so think about the pathetic condition you see and uh, so many people you know they are, they are uh, they are even ready to spend a package uh, for their honeymoon like uh, lakhs and lakhs of rupees per day you see and uh, in america you know huh? a average american citizen spends 4 dollars you see for you see what is it sir huh? for pet it is per day 4 dollars 4 dollars means how much you know in your nepali currency if i tell uh uh 1000 rupee almost 1000 nepali rupee is been spent per day upon pet it seems dogs animals think about human beings dear brethren you see and think about the posh cars they buy expensive so, so many lakhs of rupees and what uh, good example has the miss universe or miss world set you see they are all good looking and beautiful up on the stage they give good uh, testimony that we want to work for the people all those things at all but uh, practically none of them care for those things sir the dresses they wear each and every pant cost more than 2 lakhs rupees each and every shirt cost more than 4 to 5 lakhs rupees the the vanity bag they, they carry it cost 50 lakhs rupees the watches they wear the film actors and all you know they are brethren it cost more than 1 crore it's the same time it's the same watch everywhere dear brethren but see the wickedness happening in this world dear brethren therefore the bible says let the weak say i am might you see dear brethren therefore all these things will happen when when sixth angel pours out it is a veil upon the river euphrates so let us read now uh revelation uh 16:12 revelation 16 chapter verse 12 revelation 16:12 and the sixth angel poured out his vial upon the great river euphrates and the water thereof was dried up that the way of the kings of the east might be prepared uh -huh. you see what happened is when the veil was poured upon river euphrates it was dried up and it made way for the king to come from the east you see we have studied about this one lightly in uh, the subject called as babylon you see uh, you know river euphrates uh, we have studied about the class in uh, four rivers out of eden you see the last river was uh, river euphrates 
that represents the world salvation that is the world of mankind the world of mankind is the one who is supporting these systems dear brethren but god says god will pour out a plague upon the river euphrates such a way that this river will get dried up what is this plague dear brethren this plague is the doctrines of god this plague is the truth that god is going to reveal in the coming days this veil you see this plague is the exposing of the ever bring of awareness in the society this is god's wrath like for example <clears throat> you see uh, let us read on verse acts 176 can anybody read acts 176 i hope uh, everybody listening romi sister munna sister everybody are you alert Acts 17.6 And when they, they found them, not they drew Jason and uh, certain brethren unto the ruler of the city, crying these that have turned the world upside down are come heater also very good sir you see it says uh regarding apostle paul he was actually preaching about the resurrection of the dead because he was preaching about the you see greeks we all know that the greeks don't believe that the soul dies they were the one who invented the concept of the immortal soul when apostle paul went there and said soul dies and all the people are going to be resurrected they told the people who are turning the world upside down are come here they are disturbing so what actually apostle paul spoke was the truth you see but it was very disturbing for the people who could not accept it who could not digest it but those who understood it those who accept, accepted it they were quite happy it was very happy for them but for the other people who could not accept or digest it was very frustrating it was like a plague for them that is the meaning of plague in the bible even we have the example of john the baptist john the baptist condemned the relation between herod and herodias because herodias was a sister in law herod uh, murdered his brother and mother and uh, married his brother's wife that was uh, against the law of god john the baptist spoke the truth but that truth could not be digested by who oh, herodias herod at least accepted he listened to his words he feared god but herodias was troubled it was like a plague plague it was like a something that was pricking her causing her pain so dear brethren this truths i mean these are the examples of truths or you see uh, the realization of what is correct and what is wrong that is the thing which causes a plague so when we say god shall pour out his veil upon this river euphrates that means upon the world of mankind god is going to pour the knowledge of righteousness the realization of their mistake then what will happen is him sir dear brethren that river will get dried you know what will happen the people who are supporting the civil system let it be political religious financial social all the systems have been supported by the people only once they realize that this is all wrong you see what will happen they will withdraw the support once they withdraw the support automatically what will happen dear brethren you see that system will collapse like for example i'll give you some of the companies which we had in india you see there was a uh, watch manufacturer company like titan Uh, or what you say hmt this are well big big uh, you see manufacturing company which are supplied to all over india but today those company doesn't exist at all you see why why because now nobody purchases the watches sir you see that is outdated everybody goes for digital one so what has happened when nobody is interested in that one nobody supporting that system the system will shut down that is the way god is going to do he is going to shut down this uh, great uh, world filled with uh, 
selfishness, uh, let it be all the system, political, religious, financial, social, all these systems will be complete shut down. How? When God is going to pour on this plague upon the people, what will happen? The people will withdraw the support. Now, this verse in Revelation, it says, uh, this will make a way for the king of the east to come in. Now, who is the king of the east? You see, who comes in the east? What comes in the east in the morning? Tell me, you're all there. What comes in the east from the morning? Sun. Very good, sun. Now, who is sun in the Bible? Jesus Christ. Very good, sister. Jesus Christ. So, once uh, the systems are collapsed, this will make way for Jesus Christ who was already returned in 1874 to enter into these systems and collapse this system, dear brethren. That is Armageddon final climax. You see? So, we are all reaching to such a stage where this system is going to completely get crushed up. You see? But once it crushed up, next what will happen is Simsa. Dear brethren, Jesus will come inside and completely destroy this evil system. So after this, we all know very well what will happen is Simsa. God's peaceable kingdom shall be established. We have seen the Daniel second chapter, a multi-metallic uh, human structure. A stone came and hit. So stone has already come. Jesus has already come. He's been hitting and pounding uh, the world governments. Day by day, all the nations are getting weak. You know, America, 15, 20 years before, whenever there used to be any, uh, you see, problem in any nation, they used to come and fight and support openly. But today, they are not able to support openly even Ukraine, even Israel also. See today's newspaper, Biden has withdrawn the arms supply to Israel. India is trying to supply. Dear brethren, that is the condition. Why? Because they can't support. They don't have that power. That power is being pound, 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 made weak day by day. Therefore, dear brethren, you see, it is in this uh, great Armageddon that what will happen? The church shall be glorified. I, I just now gave you an example of John the Baptist. You see, John the Baptist condemned Herod and Herodias' relationship. And what happened? Uh, Herodias planned and killed John the Baptist. But, you see, that was actually a good thing. Because John the Baptist was killed, but John the Baptist became more and more famous. You see, after his death, similarly Samson, remember, Samson in the last stage of his life, you see, he was made to, uh, as a great, uh, you see, uh, demonstration for everybody that uh, what will happen to the uh, you see, people of Israel, he was tied to the pillars. His eyes were plucked out. All the Philistines came before him and, uh, you see, they all uh, teased him. Uh, you see, uh, and what happened? Uh, Samson requested one last time to God to give him power. You see, he shook the pillars of the temple. Everything fell down. All the people died. Similarly, dear brethren, in this, in this trouble, the church shall be glorified. They will shake the pillars of this uh, world system. It will fall upon the whole world. They will die. But Samson was alive. You see, but later he also died. So in the same way, dear brethren, you see, the church shall be glorified. But that is the gateway to heaven, dear brethren. So we all have to pass through this trouble, you see, and uh, meet the Lord in the air and to rule with him, dear brethren. Therefore, so this is the testing time for us. Uh, now, you see, now, in this time, what we should be doing, what we actually should be working out, you see, dear brethren, let us read um, Revelation 15 chapter. So, in this condition, what should be our attitude? Okay, uh, Revelation 15 chapter 2, 3 and 4. Can anybody read Revelation 15, chapter 2, 3, and 4? And I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire, and them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image 
and over his mark and over the number of his name stand on the seal of glass having the harp of God and they sing the song of Moses the servant of God and the song of the Lamb saying great and marvelous are thy work Lord God Almighty just and true are they thy way thou king of saints ah you see there was a sea of glass it seems but they were the people some people who were upon the sea of glass it seems having the harps of god you see they were singing and glorifying to god it seems they sang the song of moses and song of the lamb and what is the sea what is the meaning of sea in the bible read isaiah 57:20 Isaiah 57.20. Muna, sister, can you read Isaiah 57.20? Isaiah 15. But the wicked are like the troubled sea mm -hmm. when it cannot rest, mm -hmm. whose water cast up mire and dirt. Mm -hmm. The wicked are like the troubled sea. They can't remain quiet. They cast out dust, dirt, tsunami. What is it? The pure water. All the things which were in the ocean were brought to the land. They threw out the dirt. That is the condition of the world today. The wicked in this world are flourishing. Tumultuous waves are there. All nations trouble, 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 trouble. But there is a class of people who are upon the sea and they see as if the sea is like a glass. Clear, very crystal clear. That means beyond the sea, they can see who is controlling the sea. And who are they? This verse says, these are they who overcome the beast. You see, now what is the beast? That's the great antichrist system. Who are the people who overcome the antichrist system? This is the 1,44,000. The only the 1,44,000 can see through this troubled glass that there is peaceable kingdom other side. After all these things, there shall be a peaceable kingdom coming upon earth and establish peace on this earth. They see those things, have faith in God and have the harp in their hand and uh, they play the music of the song of Moses and the Lamb. Moses means what? Old Testament. Lamb means Jesus Christ, the New Testament. They beautifully sing what song? Old Testament, New Testament. You see? Taking from the Old Testament, taking from the New Testament, harmoniously, beautifully explaining the divine plan of the ages. This can be done only by lakh and forty-four thousand Ibrahim. In this trouble, they won't be troubled. Though they may be troubled all over the world, they have faith in the Lord that uh, beyond this glass, beyond the sea, there is God. Dear brethren, so in this uh, trouble, in this great Armageddon, you see, we need to see God who is beyond all these things and who is going to work everything for good. You know, it was much similar like the days of Noah. Jesus said, no, Matthew 24 chapter, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be like in the days of Son of Man. Correct, no? You see, read Matthew 24. Matthew 24. Matthew 24 chapter, verse 37. But as the days of Noah were, so shall also the coming of the Son of Man be. Ah, as it was in the days of Noah, so it shall be also in the days of Son of Man. Parallel, dear brethren, same way it is going to happen. 
In the days of the all the people were wicked. Similarly, in the days of son of man, the people won't be good. They will all be wicked. But there was a special thing that happened in days of Noah. There was a hybrid of human and fallen angels because of which chains were born. Today also we have human beings who are combined with the fallen angels. The fallen angels don't come directly upon the flesh now. They are possessing human beings. They are using the human bodies, human brains to, to deceive mankind and generate chains. You see, who are the chains? Uh -huh. As I told you, big, big giant companies, computer giant, banking giant, you see, telephone giant, you see, steel giant, tea giant, aluminium giant, aviation giant, wherever you go, very rich, rich people. You see, dear brethren, automobile giant, you see, these are the giants that are being produced by these fallen angels. And in the first world, these giants dominated the whole world. Therefore, God destroyed the first world. Similarly, at the end of the second world, there will be great, great companies which will dominate the normal people, dear brethren. And God will destroy them as it was destroyed in the flood. They shall be totally gone forever, dear brethren. So, God is going to humble the pride of this world. Therefore, this is how, you see, the Armageddon will, you see, culminate how Armageddon is going to develop and ultimately the church has to play a beautiful role of witnessing about God and staying calm in this Armageddon because she will be glorified in this Armageddon itself. Okay, so I hope it was useful. Uh, I will be sending the notes. Uh, the notes will be totally, uh, some parts will be totally different than what I presented here. Uh, so, I presented here practically upon the today's situation. So, you can go to the PDF. Any doubts, any questions you have, we can ask. Anybody has got any questions, any doubts? Anybody? Anyone, any questions? Pro Minister? No questions. Good. Good. Okay. Also, brother, any questions? No, brother. No, no, any questions. Okay. Joel, brother. Muna, sister. Amar, brother. No question, brother. No question, brother. Okay. Okay. Gopal, brother. <laughs>